Um, when Vroom was started, it was originally an automotive retailer concept that was going to leverage the internet in a big way. And they would do that by, um, you know, carrying a massive inventory, a wide selection of vehicles, um, and then price them to be very aggressive to the market. That was kind of the core driver behind it. Because no matter where our vehicles would be listed on the internet, uh, we knew that that price was going to be a driving force to that equation. Therefore, the sooner we could get found, the sooner we could tell our story. Uh, and then our story was that we would, you know, we are a very transparent, uh, no haggle, one price environment that just makes it incredibly simple for the consumer to, to buy a car, even if they're in, you know, all the way up in uh, New York City or all the way in Seattle, Washington. We could facilitate that transaction. Now, we didn't have the, the technology in place to, to do all the, tra the transaction entirely online, uh, but we would be uh, incredibly transparent with the consumer. So that was the original concept. And when we um, eventually uh, brought on uh, some new investors into the equation late last year, um, in November of 2014, we really propelled that model because we went from an automotive com uh, retailer leveraging the internet to being a true internet company that was leveraging the automotive industry. And that was the big shift we made because we were able to bring on our own internal technology team. Uh, we had greater resources at our disposal so we could gradually move away from those kind of off-the-shelf dealer products and transition into our own technology that would allow us to eventually um, uh, complete, ha allow the consumer to complete a very complex transaction entirely online. Um, and so we've been in that process with uh, just releasing our new website back um, in, in June. And we'll, by the end of the summer, we'll actually have the full transaction engines.